Currently right now we're at the Lions Park uh, City Park and behind me is the Lions Park Regional Stormwater Pond that was built in about 1983-1984. Uh, the area um, of the pond is about four acres and it takes drainage from the whole surrounding area. We went out to bid uh, this fall um, to have this stormwater pond cleaned out because it's lost over half of its capacity to store stormwater volume itself. Uh, so Peterson Companies was the lowest responsible bidder on the project. So currently they are working to excavate out the material, um, which is a little over um, 10,000 cubic yards of material, which is quite a bit. Um, right now they have about 13 trucks going. Today, uh, they'll finish up tomorrow. Um, so total, they probably hauled 10 to 12 days worth of material. Um, it's taken a good portion of this uh, winter just to get the project done with the warm weather that we've had. And then recently with the very cold weather that we had, uh, they weren't able to work. So uh, they're down to the wire a little bit here, but we'll get it done in time. So when the uh, pond was built, um, it was about four feet deep. Um, on average. Um, over time, uh, sediment, uh, sand from the streets, trash, debris, uh, wash into stormwater ponds, and that is their function, is to capture that material. Um, as this pond, um, the outlet of the pond where the water leaves the pond, where the cleanest water leaves, um, does directly go into the Mississippi. Uh, so we are responsible as a city uh, to maintain our stormwater system, make sure that we're capturing as much pollutants as we can um, and debris and uh, things of that nature to make sure that it doesn't reach the Mississippi. Uh, so in this case, uh, this is one of the two biggest stormwater ponds in the city, one of the very oldest, uh, so it was definitely needed uh, to be cleaned out and get back to its original function. Um, and also with that, stormwater ponds reduce flooding for areas as well um, because they're gonna be the ones that take that volume of water um, off the streets, off the buildings. We have a lot of schools, apartment buildings around this area. So all that stormwater when it's raining out um, in this area ends up in this pond. So we want to make sure we have that capacity to hold it. So stormwater ponds, a lot of people think are just built for aesthetics. That's what I always thought before I got you know, into the industry. Um, so stormwater ponds, whenever developments go in, um, the state has standards, the federal government has standards for stormwater treatment. And stormwater can be anything, you know, from a roof down spout of a single family home, uh, rain events that hit streets, sidewalks, schools, apartments, that water's gotta go somewhere. Um, so there's requirements that developers in certain cases have to put in stormwater ponds. So kind of going back to what I talked about earlier where um, they're there to capture sediment, um, trash and debris, you know, cups and bags and whatever else is washed off a street or a parking lot will be captured in those stormwater ponds in order to reduce uh, that impact from going into, say, a lake, a wetland, the Mississippi River in this case. Um, so really, overall, it's just they're supposed to capture pollutants to make sure that they don't get into a downstream water body.